quiet. A red bird sat squat beneath my mailbox like a bomb about to explode. It gazed up at me as though it knew I was capable of falling. I opened the slot. It was all junk mail. The bird shifted tersely on its plume, waiting to be left alone. The year had been a surge of face masks, a market virus, the wrath of turgid cops. My nerves were shot. I wondered if the bird was injured or tired, or maybe hiding from the heat wave of the afternoon. I sifted through coupons, craving silence. I blamed noise sheep and those shiny media pundits that fiend on a plane who once barked, Girl, you need to brush your hair. The criminal who told me, It's easy to pretend. And the militant who shouted, You don't worship hate enough. And the truth is, I don't know how to talk about cynicism. Five years ago, I decided to be as moon as night. Now my memories of injustice sleep inside a coven where innocents burn like cloistered suns. The witches croon. On the fractures inside the skull of America, they've built a strip mall that will get raided by monks. I want to know how this red bird sits mute when the year has been so loud. Just last week, I thought I saw the same bird nuzzling its head against a weeping black tree that had been reminded how little we understood when a postman walked by wearing a veil, his bag of junk mail chanting, buy two, get one free, and the city strangling itself so kindly as though every mean bruise were an act of love, and the roses suddenly growing backbones and shouting, we can no longer cultivate quiet.